With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, if mu1 and mu2 are the refractive indices of material of core and cladding respectively of an optical fiber, then so this is our optical fiber having the core and the cladding with core here as refractive index as mu1 and cladding here as refractive index mu2. Now we know here optical fiber works on the principle of total internal reflection travels from core to the cladding. We can say here at an angle of incidence greater than critical angle we can say here the whole light gets here totally internally reflected so for total internal reflection we know the condition is light must travel from denser to rarer medium and score must be denser medium and the cladding must be rarer medium so we can say here mu1 must be greater than mu2 that is option number one is the correct answer and the second condition for tir total internal reflection is that the incidence angle must be greater than critical angle and here the relative refractive index here is managed such that the critical angle value is very low so that here maximum light undergoes TIR. So here the material used in cladding is here so preferred that its refractive index with respect to core here let's say decreases the relative refractive index value hence we can say option number one is the correct answer so one is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today